This is Sufi's director and I'm doing a tutorial on how to make a helicopter uh, animation or any other animation look real in your footage and in your movies. This is for Effects Lab Pro members or users only. I'm sure other effects programs have the same effects, I'm not really sure, but anything that deals with animation, I'm going to show you how to, how to do it and how to make it look real. No copyright intended, but uh, I used footage special effects. As you can see here, as my uh, like extra effects, which came with the helicopter animation, which I'll be showing you in this video how to make. So first, you take your footage um, with a filter on it, like that, and uh, make sure you put like a stop thing right here, one of these. Um, mark it where you want. Like, that's how long you want the animation to be in your movie. So mark the beginning and the end of your footage. So you know when and when, when and where animation is going to start and stop. So first, you go to media. And I already downloaded, I already got the helicopter in here. As you can see. So I'm just going to drag that onto the timeline, or on here. As you can see, right now it looks kind of fake. First... What I have to do is scale it down a bit because it's kind of too big. I want it to be uh, in the horizon. Say right about uh, here. So I'm going to go with point 0.17. See that? Right there. So point 0.17. The smaller it is, the more realistic it looks, surprisingly, because um, you can see less of the CGI ish look of it so when it's smaller and plus it just looks more realistic it wouldn't be that big when it's in the horizon or you know so I just make it about point 17 or point 16 I'm gonna do point 16 and there you have it and uh, preview render real quick see we, we don't want it to just stay in one spot we want it to be moving off cameras so we want it to be moving off camera not just staying in one position you know, because if the thing's spinning, it's not going to stay in one spot. So what we do is first, this is what I did first. I drag this to the length of time of my animation to where my mar I place my marker. Because I don't want it to be on this, you know, right here, because it didn't really make sense. It's not the same spot it was on the previous scene. So keep it just on the two markers that you placed. So using animation, I'm going to... Not start at the beginning, but I'm going to start at the end of where I want it to stop, which is where I place my end marker. So what I want to do is drag it off camera like this. And the good thing about Fix Up Pro is that it animates it for you. So if I do that, see, it moves off camera for you without you having to do all the small little animations in between. So I preview render that, press play, it moves off camera now. As you can see. So now it looks a little somewhat better now that it's actually moving instead of staying in one spot. But it still doesn't look that real. Of course, using my camera filling my computer, it looks a little different. But from my viewpoint here, it doesn't. It still looks kind of CGI. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to match, do color correction, which is what it's called. Using the effects tool on the toolbox, I'm going to go to grade object. And I'll start with the basic filter, which is literally called basic. So I'm going to drag the basic filter here. And as you can see, it's affecting the whole footage. And I already have a basic filter on there previously. So since I only want it on the helicopter, I'm going to put a mask. And uh, I've never really been good with masks, but since I've been using them, it's really helped my footage. So drag that in the corner and stretch it up just to where the helicopter is. As I click invert shape on. So it's just focusing on the helicopter now. Okay, now that I have the filter added, um, I'm going to add some smoke. I'll first feather it a bit so it blends in. See, it's nine-ish, I guess. Now I'm going to add smoke, which I'll get from media. This is another thing from the stock footage uh, special effects. I would say mist would be good for like a cloud. So the only reason why I'm using it. Because of a cloud, it makes it look like it's going through a cloud or past a cloud or whatever. 
It just shows you a little uh, what it looks like. So I'm going to drag that onto the timeline. And then let's see where it's going to be right there. So I don't want it down on the ground, I want it in the sky. So I'm going to go to animation. And drag it up to where I want it to be. Sometimes I have to drag this down too. And right up there. There you go. Now we have a nice cloud. But we don't want it down here over the tree or anything else, and it doesn't really blend in if you just look at it by itself. Not sure if you can really tell by this camera on my laptop. Here, let me zoom in. See that line right there kind of makes it look unrealistic. So I'm going to add uh, another mask. And you don't really have to move the mask since the camera's not moving. And that's another good thing, uh, a tip. Uh, if you're ever masking, the easiest thing to do is have it, your camera on a tripod. Uh, that way you don't have to keep moving and animating the mask and everywhere and stuff. So I'm going to make that drag it up a bit more. Past the tree. Okay. And don't be afraid to go crazy with it because you want it to look natural. So have a bunch of curves and stuff. It's just for the lower half and nowhere else. And smooth points, animate, feather, about nine, and see what it looks like. There you go, it looks a little bit better. Let's see. Well, I made the feather a little bit higher, about 17. Just to uh, make sure you can't really can't see it. Here's the final footage with the thing we added. There you can see. Smoke helps blend it in with the footage. So does the filter. Uh, and there you have it. There's the animation of a helicopter going by. And the actor reacting to the helicopter going by. And that's what you can do with just a simple amount of smoke and a filter and footage special effects. Thanks for watching.